Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to transform this beautiful keepsake piano into a bench. My client contacted me and said she had this piano that's been in her family, yet she doesn't have need for the actual piano itself and asked me if I could recreate it into a bench for her. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to keep the back part as the back of the bench and disassemble the rest, meaning the soundboard, the sides, and part it out by just setting it aside and seeing what we might be able to reuse when putting the bench together. This keyboard piece, we are gonna try and keep intact so that we can put a French cleat on the back, paint it to match the bench, and then she can hang that on the wall above her new beautiful repurposed piece. So let's get started. So progress shot here. We have the keyboard piece disassembled and now we've had to lay it down because the soundboard is extremely heavy. So now the process is to get the soundboard taken off of the back, disassemble the bottom and the sides and then we will see where we're at. So as soon as we get this center piece up, off rather then we will be able to have access to the soundboard you gotta love the soundboard Now the base is off the bottom piece. We have to take off the sides and this final board and the casters. And then we should have just the back to figure out how to remove the soundboard. Most likely we're gonna have to cut all of the cords, but we'll see. So now we're going to lift it up because I think the last piece to this puzzle is there's bolts attaching the metal to the soundboard on the reverse side. So with any DIY project, you always run into some hiccups. So we have been working on getting the metal um, top off of the soundboard with this piano. 
and could not figure out what was preventing it from lifting off. And we just discovered what it was. And now this has lengthened this project significantly in time. Let me show you. These, these hundred little, I don't know what the proper name is, you can drop it in the comments below if you do, as I'm not a piano expert. However, when they made things back in the day, they made So we're trying to see if some attachments to the drill will work, because if not, all of these little suckers have to be clamped and twisted off by hand. So it's been a hot minute, but after a lot of work in disassembling this piano, it is ready to put back together, but in a different form. So this piano is going to be an awesome bench. These are the pieces that are kind of left over from the disassembly. So some are undersiding. Um, one is the top, which I anticipate to be able to use for the seat. But um, I want to be able to incorporate as many of these pieces of this piano into the completed bench. So let's get to reassembling. This is a salvaged footboard that I just happen to have in my stockpile that I'm going to use for the side portion of the bench. Just because I like the character of the curved edge and the feminine details that this side piece will give to this more bulky, solid back. So now what I'm going to do is actually do some pocket holes into this wood and then secure this to the bench as one side. So we'll do that to both and then um, do all the bracing. So now the pocket holes are drilled. So now it's just a matter of drilling it into the side and then we will do the rest. So this is the piece that is going to connect both sides of the front of the bench. And then this piece was a part of the piano. I don't even know where this was um, on the piano. However, I am going to knock off this little ledge and then put this in the center here, just to add some decorative element to it, in addition to just trying to incorporate as much of the original piano as possible. So rather than just putting this in the center, I don't like how off balance it is. I think what I'm gonna do is, it measures 30 inches, is go ahead and cut it in half put 15 inches here and put 15 inches there because then it looks symmetrical and balanced and once it's painted it's going to add some real character so i think that's what i'm going to do wish me luck
I'm going to add the decorative piece. Just putting a teeny bit of glue. And I will use some brad nails. that this was part of the original assembly. Here's a clamp here. the other side. Now that those are on, I think I'm just going to create a centerpiece to connect the two. So I found on this piece that if I detach this little trim part, I can use that for the front. So now I got these attached. I was able to use a portion of that for the trim. And now I am going to do the back piece that will the seat will rest on top of. So I'm gonna cut that now, which is actually gonna be this piece from the piano. I think I'm going to use this large piece for the seat, which I'm really excited about. I just need to figure out how to incorporate these pedals, which are just so cool. Hmm. She's coming along. Now we're just going to add some brace boards here to support the seat and then I want to incorporate because this is kind of unfinished obviously as that was not visible when it was a piano so I thought it would be really cool to put this piece which I'm hoping we can separate from there that has the um, hem note ledge I think that's what that is or actually that's for closing it with your fingers anyways I don't know the proper piano lingo but I thought this piece would be really cool attached to the top of that okay so I'm pretty excited that this piece from the piano fit as a seat I do need to run it through my table saw and trim down probably a good inch 
which is going to eliminate such an overhang and also eliminate that piece that's cut out here in the back from its original state. And that looks fantastic. So, seats on. Let's see that on top. I know, that's what I'm saying. The cool thing is it hangs over. Oh, I love it. It hangs over. That is... It's not quite long enough, but... That's okay, I can trim it, it out. It's off, yeah. It's pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> I love it. So I'm now going to glue that piece on and secure it with a couple of screws. And I think that that really pulls it all together. I love it. Absolutely love it. wanted to somehow incorporate the pedals so what I think I'm going to do is secure this piece where the pedals actually would come through on the inside of these legs and then somehow um, incorporate the pedals so we'll see how that works Hi everyone, so here I am. This is probably, um, truly, if I, I don't even know, day 14 of working on this piano conversion into a bench, but we are on the tail end. So I've been mixing paint, as you can see, and now I'm gonna do, uh, my client wants a real kind of aged, worn, chippy look, which you know is my absolute favorite. So what I'm gonna do now is put some wood glue on some areas that I want to um, crackle and kind of age. So let's do that now, then we will paint, then we will distress, then we will seal, then we will do the final touches, all today. Okay. So I am going to apply some glue on just in kind of just various places to get some crackle going, which I think will be pretty cool. Okay, so I got this piece painted and now the fun part begins of bringing out the character distressing it back isn't that kind of cool how the glue so you to so apply the glue and while the glue is still wet you then apply paint and then when they dry together, the glue pulls the paint and creates that really cool crackling effect, which as you can see, I mean, it looks really cool. Apply some dark wax to this and I love it. So now I'm going to go through and sand it. Okay, so I didn't realize, but the camera was not recording. <laughs> Needless to say, I did not like the bright teal. I thought it was too bright. I wanted more of a layered look, and so I have, let me show you where I'm at right now. So I ended up doing the teal all the way, um, all over the bench. Then I did a secondary color that I didn't like either. And then I put on this mixed combination. It's like a pale, teal -y, neutral, whitish color. That makes any sense. 
So right now I am just distressing back the layers and I'm loving the way it looks. So stay tuned for the end result. Well, here she is from heirloom piano that was no longer in use to heirloom bench. What an awesome build she is. I really am so excited on how this piece turned out. Just the fact that it used to be a piano and now it is an absolutely gorgeous bench. So just to kind of recap this whole process, which has been longer than anticipated, the back of this bench is the soundboard and back of the original piano. The top is a beautiful portion of the old piano and I left the grand, which is 1911, and the number that was because this is obviously the back. The side portions are a vintage footboard that I had on hand. All the components, the bench seat is a part of the piano. The bottom board with the pedals is original to the piano. All the bracing I used, um, with the exception of the two by fours that I used as cross beams, is original to this beautiful piece so i am absolutely in love with the way that it turned out and the finish is just spectacular so i pray my client loves her as much as i do and here she is in all her glory thank you guys again for joining me on another video this was a rewarding video rewarding build um, definitely took um, a little bit of time and creativity to make this piece come together but I am thrilled with the result if you like this video please consider subscribing leaving me a comment on what you think of the end result and um, give it a thumbs up look forward to seeing you guys on the next one